Safety is one of the most important things you will learn related to machining technology. If you are just considering the field, one of your concerns might be, can I get hurt with all those big machines? The answer is yes, but the key word is could. You see, a machine shop is like your house. Although there are many potential dangers, you can avoid almost all of them by being careful. For example, look at these knives. You could cut yourself while cooking. You could also electrocute yourself if you stuck a metal object into this outlet. Or you could burn yourself on the stove. But for most of us, accidents are fairly rare. Why? Because we have learned how to be careful and avoid accidents. A machine shop is similar to your kitchen or any other room in your house. There is potential danger, but by knowing how to recognize them and how to avoid them, you can prevent yourself and others from getting hurt. Let's learn how to play it safe in the machine shop. In this lesson, you will learn how you should dress for the machine shop and how to protect your eyes and ears. Look at this woman. What do you think about how she is dressed? While her clothes are perfect for a warehouse job, they are dangerous in a machine shop. Let's start with her hair. What's wrong with her hair? Although it looks neat and attractive, her long hair could be a hazard in the machine shop. If she were to get too close to this machine, her hair could get caught in it and pull her in, which could result in a serious accident. It's fine to have long hair, but you must always wear it completely up for the machine shop. Next, let's look at her jewelry. She's wearing a ring and a bracelet. Although they accessorize her outfit nicely, they could hurt her. A ring, bracelet, or even a wristwatch could get caught and cause an accident. For that reason, you should never wear any type of jewelry in the machine shop. Next, look at her clothes. Although she certainly looks very professional, her clothes could be dangerous. Her long sleeves could get caught in the machine. You should always wear short sleeve blouses or roll up your shirt sleeves while you work. Now let's look at her shoes. Although they go well with her outfit, she could get hurt if she were to drop something on her foot or step on something sharp. Why don't we give her a safety makeover? Great! Look at her now. She has no safety hazards. Notice how she is wearing her long hair up and how she is not wearing any jewelry. She is wearing a short sleeve blouse that is tucked in and she is wearing work boots to protect her feet. Now let's see what you have learned about dressing safely for the machine shop. Now that you know how to dress for the job, let's learn about how to protect your eyes and ears. You must wear some kind of eye protection in the machine shop at all times because machine tools can produce flying metal debris that can land in your eye. Although this woman is now dressed for the job, she is still not quite ready to go to work. She still needs to have the right protective equipment for her eyes and ears. There are three types of eye protection, glasses, safety goggles, and face shields. First, let's look at these plain safety glasses. These glasses have shatterproof lenses and side shields that protect the sides of the eye from flying chips and particles. Plain safety glasses are usually all that is required in most machine shops. Next, let's look at the plain safety goggles. These goggles are for people who wear glasses. They are made of soft, flexible plastic and fit over your glasses. The third type of eye protection is a face shield. A face shield has a large plastic shield that covers the entire face and allows air to circulate between the face and the shield and can easily fit over prescription glasses if you wear them. Now let's talk about your ears. An industrial machine shop is usually very noisy and not only is the constant noise stressful, it can also damage your eardrums. Therefore, you must wear some kind of ear protection when you work in a machine shop. There are two types of ear protection, earplugs and headphones. These earplugs fit right into your ear and are the least noticeable ear protection that can be worn. You can also wear headphones that fit over the entire ear and offer more protection. In most cases, earplugs, however, will be enough protection. Now she is ready to go to work. Not only is she dressed for safety, she is also wearing the right protective gear for her eyes and ears.
A machine shop is similar to your home or any other place. It can be a dangerous place 